good strategy to minimize pain and ocular movements is necessary in ophthalmic surgeries. In oculoplasty, local anesthesia provides for an intraoperative evaluation of eyelid position. The anatomy of the orbit with supplying vessels and nerves is important. The ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve enters the orbit through the superior orbital fissure and divides into the lacrimal, frontal, and the nasociliary branches. The frontal branch divides to form the supratrochlear and the supraorbital nerves. The supratrochlear nerve innervates the medial upper eyelid and the lower forehead. The supraorbital branch also innervates the scalp and the middle part of the upper eyelid. The nasociliary nerve branches into the anterior and posterior ethmoidal nerves and the infratrochlear nerve. They innervate the lacrimal sac, inner canthus, and the lateral aspect of the nose. The maxillary nerve enters the orbit through the inferior orbital fissure and emerges as the infraorbital nerve from the infraorbital foramen. The gigometric branch of maxillary nerve enters the orbit and divides to form the gigometricofacial and zygometricotemporal nerves. The lower eyelid is thus served centrally by the infraorbital nerve, temporally by the gigometricofacial branch, and medially by the infratrochlear branch of the trigeminal nerve. Thus, sensory innervation of the orbit is provided by the ophthalmic and maxillary nerve through the frontal, nasociliary, and infraorbital nerves. Three anatomical landmarks are important while giving blocks in this area. The supraorbital notch. It is palpated at the junction of the medial one-third and lateral two-thirds of the superior orbital rim, the infraorbital foramen. It is located about one centimeter below the inferior orbital rim at the junction of medial one-third and lateral two-thirds. The anterior ethmoidal foramen. It is located about 24 mm posterior to the anterior lacrimal crest. The drugs used for local anesthesia are Lignocaine 2%. It has a rapid onset of action about 2 to 5 minutes and a duration of action about 2 hours. Adrenaline in the concentration of 1 is to 1 lakh increases the duration of nerve blocks by causing Vasoconstriction of the arteries, bupivacaine 0.5% has a longer onset of action about 5 to 10 minutes and a duration of action about 4 to 8 hours. Hyaluronidase improves the diffusion of anesthetic agent and thus increasing the block onset and efficacy. The different types of blocks can be divided into regional blocks and nerve blocks. The procedure of giving such blocks is described below. For the peribulbar block, the needle is introduced into the extra corner space. The classical technique involves two injections. The first injection is inferior and temporal, given at the junction of the outer one-third and inner two-thirds of the lower orbital rim. The second injection is superior and nasal between the medial one-third and lateral two-thirds of the orbital roof edge. For giving the frontal block, the supraorbital notch is first palpated in the method described earlier. The needle is introduced in a posterior and upward direction and 3 ml of local anesthetic is injected at this point. For the supraorbital nerve block, the supraorbital notch is palpated in the same way the needle is introduced posterior and superiorly just lateral to the notch then a volume of about 2 to 3 milliliters of the anesthetic agent is injected at this point for giving a supratrochlear block the needle is inserted along the superomedial orbital wall just above the trochlea to a depth of 1.5 centimeters to block the infratrochlear nerve, the needle is inserted below the trochlea just above the medial cantal ligament along the medial wall of the orbit to a depth of 1 cm. 
For giving an infraorbital block, the infraorbital foramen is palpated about 1 cm below the inferior orbital rim at the junction of medial one third and lateral two thirds and a volume of 2 ml of the anesthetic agent is injected. For a facial nerve block, classical approaches have been described by Von Lind and O'Brien. A modified technique by Atkinson is described here in which a blab of local anesthetic is raised about 2 to 3 cm lateral to the lateral orbital rim. Two radii of local infiltration are then injected superiorly and inferiorly from this point, forming a V that catches the fibers of the facial nerve. To give a lacrimal block, about 1 to 2 ml of the anesthetic agent is injected close to the internal superotemporal orbital wall, about 2 cm posterior to the orbital rim. A dorsal nasal nerve block is given subcutaneously about 3 mm medial to the medial canthus along the anterior lacrimal crest. For giving a nasociliary or anterior ethmoidal nerve block, the needle is inserted parallel to the medial wall of the orbit, about 2 cm posterior to the anterior lacrimal crest corresponding to the anterior ethmoidal foramen. The nerve blocks preferred for different surgeries are Tosis surgery, frontal nerve block or local infiltration For a decryocystorhinostomy, decryocystectomy, infratrochlear nerve block, infraorbital block Nasociliary anterior ethmoidal nerve block, dorsal nasal nerve block In orbitotomies, frontal nerve block, peribulbar block, facial block or in combination of different blocks. In case of excision biopsies, blepharoplasty, peribulbar block, frontal block, or a combination of blocks can be given. In conclusion, a good anesthesia is essential for patient cooperation and comfort during the surgery plays an important role in the surgical outcome and success.